so intelligent, but it's still kind of musical. Yeah, I might have downsized myself a bit. Well, I can't say. Someone else had to. I always consider that I played basic sax because I never played very fast, because I just had begun. I did never do the But I'm rhythmical. That's my strength and I'm sensitive. That's my motive. So I've been like super cool. How nice. <laughs> Feedback I have to give. Yeah, because I love the socks. Man, I love it. And if I love something, I did it very well. Very well. Very well. And I had a saxophone teacher, but not really. I went to see Carsten. I think that's his name. Yeah, I don't know. I went, did I went once or twice? I don't know. I just never went back. I probably was kicked out of the house or something. Couldn't go. So I pretty much taught myself. But I was in respect because he said he was a studio musician. A studio musician. That means you can't be flapping around. You have to be very precise. I never heard him play. No, he invited me to enjoy Birdland from Weather Report. That one. Very, very famous tune from Wayne Shorter in this band. And he wrote the notes on in my uh, down on my little notebook. That's all. So that's what he did. He probably told me to go to scales too. Or, I don't know. He probably showed me. And that's all. That's about Carson. On another subject. Oh, I remember he looked, uh, he had like a little mustache, dark hair. I had to travel far to reach his house or studio or something. Uh, by bus. I have a vague memory of the streets. It seemed like, I don't know, not very crowded, modern. Maybe also the subway, I don't know. I met him maybe only twice. I liked him a lot. I thought he was good. He was cool. But musicians are serious people. Serious musicians are serious. Because they're always like thinking about the exactitude, the extreme. Yeah, we're extremists in a way. When we are concentrated and focused on our music. We don't just burst out, be like composed in a way when we are serious musicians, since we are serious musicians, like very past in a way, because we know we have to have all our antennas over our music in every single sense of the way. And that is, is very exquisite because when you treat people like serious musicians, they also look at you from a wider perspective. It's like they see the music and they see the notes, the little notes written in a score. And then what comes out of the notes is the music, which of course envelops the whole being and the entire room. Just for starters. And that's how serious musicians see other people. It's like the person is like the note. And then they look, what else is there? Like what, what is the vibrance, ex the exuberance in you in the room? What is your light? That's what serious musicians want to know exactly about other people. And then they connect with no words. And then they say all is well. And then we can look down and look at the music sheet and play some music. And that's exactly how I perceived Carsten. I want another subject. Weird, right? Um, so my stepmother, Helga, she told me, she showed me in Germany how people drive in terms of the streets are small and sometimes people would go over speed limit and often a police would sit there somewhere waiting. So people would adver advertise that if they would see a police car to the upcoming traffic. So sometimes you get the light flashed on you when you drive by a stranger, tall stranger, and you know, she said, you know, there is a police, so don't lower your speed. How cool is that? I'm not advertising for going over speed limit in excess. I'm just saying solidarity among people like that. Is that so wonderful? 
Now remember, speed limit in Germany is like, it's very low because it's very safe. Does you leave my mind astray? 